Hey Taffers, Sly Fox back here again with you. This is Sly's UT Arena number two. Uh, I don't think we'll bother with number one. Number one was just the, uh, I used that as a base for this one. It was a lot, lot smaller. And I built that just because uh, somebody, you know, I don't even remember who made a post. Oh, I just want to, we just have a mission where we just fight guards. And I went, okay. So I just built this little thing and, you know, and uh, I had played, you know, some, uh, Unreal Tournament, so obviously UT Unreal Tournament Arena, that's where the, the idea came from, so I had the idea to build a, an Unreal Tournament uh, Thief map, and which has been done um, you know, much better by other people, uh, Yandros obviously it was Hammerite Deathmatch, I think it was I think it's what he called his his was just, you know, lovely, you know, so a compound and, you know, very, very fancy kind of proper fight guards mission this is, uh, my whole point here was just to have a surreal just ridiculously, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, just, you know, a map that w certainly wouldn't exist in real life. It's just, it's just crazy. And uh, that's about it. Um, I remember, you know, you get tossed into the game, and I think you have to find a slow fall potion before you hit the ground or you're dead. So I think a lot of times, the first the first time people play this thing, you probably fall to your death until you figure out how to, you know, how to survive the fall. Because I remember I, I put the, the player character's starting point. Because when you... When, when you create Garrett, you, there's a little marker you put in the game, and that's where the you know the camera, you know the game camera, you know your character starts, and you usually place it you know six, five feet off the ground or whatever. Well, you know this I placed it like a hundred feet off the ground, so you're gonna fall a long way, and uh, so I, I I think you have to you have to gulp a speed potion or not a speed potion, a slow fall potion, and or you might just land on a guard's head, which of course you can you know jump great distances and then land on an AI's head or at least most of the, the human AI, I don't know about the others, and, uh, you know, survive the fall. So, you know, uh, an exploit that I've used, you know, in, uh, many times. And uh, also, since there's no real stealth involved, everybody should be yelling and screaming, and fire arrows will be going off, so I'm not exactly sure how uh, much you're going to hear me over the uh, the cacophony of the game. So, what the heck, we'll just start a new game, and uh, I'll leave it on tough, so you give me as many, uh, you know, uh, hit points as possible there's no difference in the difficulty so uh, you know if you want it, want it harder and harder you get obviously fewer hit shields as we go from left to right so I'll give myself maximum hit shields because I have not played this in a long while and uh, so there we go get to the top of the map and push the button to win the mission okay. take the fire talisman just because Sly says oh that's right no I did that's right there are difficulty levels here you have to in in you know, you have fewer health uh, shields, obviously, as the difficulty goes up. But that's right, you had to find more things. You have to cover more of the map instead of just trying to get out. You gotta, you know, you gotta find these things, and so, which obviously takes longer. So you'll be in the in the fray uh, for a much longer amount of time. And so impossible. So okay, I'll play on impossible difficulty. So I, I hid talismans all over the place. You got to find a bunch of loot, and uh, you're also gonna have to make some. Uh, a few you know, crazy, really long jumps with speed potions to get out of here. So anyway, here we go. Yeah. Hello? Okay, so. Okay. Now I know there's more slow fall potions. Now I know you gotta go down and find a bunch of loot. So I forget where the ramp was. There's a ramp back here, because if you fall over the edge here, you're dead. But there's one spot where there's a ramp where you can go down to the bottom of the map. And that's where a bunch of loot is. So, it, yeah, there it is. And it's real steep. I'm not sure. I don't think the AI will follow you down here. Because it, it's actually pretty hard to, uh, to climb back up that thing. But I know down here there's a little niche in the wall that's been carved out. And, uh, oh, I could just, while we have some, some time, if you, the, the texture of the walls here is, uh, I basically made a, a texture out of the, uh, a photo of the interface. So, you know, it's what you look at when you're building a thief mission. So you'll see as I'm running around, um, when I get to the top of the mission, you can see it much better, but basically the texture on the wall is the Dramed screen of this mission. So you can see what the sort of the, what the wireframe uh, of the mission looks like. So I thought that was, uh, I don't know, it, 
just that's just me and my warped sense of humor. So you know, the, the drama head sort of staring back at you, and it's an old picture of me with a goofy Santa hat on. You know. So there we go. You got lucky, Taffer. Okay, yeah. So that's there's your six hundred dollars. So you found six hundred in loot already, and there's me giving you a thumbs up with my goofy Santa hat. Okay, so I better save because I might have to reload more than a few times to get through this whole thing. And now I got to climb back up here, and this is actually difficult as well because you have to you you can walk up inch like this, but I don't know. Maybe not everybody knows this, but a little trick for walking up really steep surfaces is to lean forward, and then you can go pretty quickly, and then. So, and you pretty much have to do that to get all the way up there. And But you're going to have to run up there, and then there's a ladder you're going to have to attach to. So you have to get all the way to the top of this thing somehow, and then turn to the left and hop, and, and somehow get attached to the ladder. And it can be difficult to do. So, you know, sometimes it takes me a couple of times to do it. So here we are, running and leaning forward. I sort of equate it to, you know, now I'm using my hands and my feet. Okay. I can't even see the ladder. It's here somewhere. I don't even see it. Where the heck is it? I, well, I know you can get out of here somehow, so it's just... There. Oh, I think there it is right there. Yeah. So, ah. Another thing is sometimes you can't lean yourself forward again once you're in the middle of it so sometimes you got to go all the way to the bottom and start all over again I made that ladder ridiculously hard to see that was probably a mistake as I'm getting older I you know I'm really having a hard time seeing that darn it there we go Come on. Ah, darn, I gotta go all the way down again. Da -da 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 oh, shoot. Okay, that's. Yeah. Killed myself. And that's how steep that is. Okay. Going slowly, but making progress. People hate, wanted to hate me for doing this. I don't blame you. So, for all the people who are curse you, Sly, you were right. <laughs> this is ridiculously stupid. And I, was like, I remember. Uh, I, I think I got a, a PM from uh, from Yandros uh, after he was playing this mission because he, you know, he's ah darn it. I don't know, I just killed myself, probably. There we go. Um, I, I, I guess you know, he was wanting to... Uh, uh, wanting to work on, you know, one of his own missions, and, you know, I released this, and he said, oh, just, I'm going to be all day playing this. And I said, well, Russ, it shouldn't take you that long to play. And he said, you know... Somebody goes, no, no, he goes, this is the kind of thing, you know, I keep playing over and over and over again. I said, oh, okay, so... If he was late releasing a mission at some point, it was probably because he was, you know, busy wasting time doing this stupid thing. So, sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't want to cheat you out of a fine, a perfectly good mission to play. Do this. Oh man, come on, come on, get. I would be crazy. I gotta go all the way to the bottom again. Oh, yeah, whatever. So. Maybe I'll figure... I, I, I got a movie software, so I... I there's got to be an easy way you just cut and paste or just, you know, to cut out fat that you don't want. So, I mean, I'll try to figure out how to... 
how to do that because all of these videos have been just you know me i just i hit record I, you know i play i stop and do what i there's no editing or anything involved in doing any of these uh any of these let's plays so because i really don't know how to use video editing software but how hard can it be just to cut out some crap in the middle so i'll, I'll probably have to figure that out for this mission oh god uh, just try it again Nice thing is, though, when I get back to the top, everybody will have calmed down. I might be able to stealthily take out a few. Oh, come on. Yeah. Man, I have just never had this much trouble doing this. Actually, let me... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, let me just bump the gamma up through the roof. So I can see the ladder better. Yeah. This is how I'm getting older and I'm having a harder time. See, oh, golly day. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Finally, back on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, put the gamma back to something normal. And there again, there's yours truly with the goofy Santa hat. <coughs> and, you know, you see, you know, water brushes just hanging in air and stuff like that, you know, because obviously, you know, you can do, there's no such thing as real physics in this game. It's just, you know, game-created physics. So, you know, you can do things like that. And, uh, so, okay, I'm going to stay here and get a sip of water. <coughs> and get ready to let all hell break loose. Um, you can see there's ramps and stuff um, that you're going to have to, you know, go up and down. I toyed with the idea of, uh, in, I explained this in one of the other Let's Plays, if you create a brush... And, and, and again, brushes or anything that you create in Dramed is a brush. These You're looking at, you know, you create air with airbrushes, and all the solid stuff is solid brushes. So, you know, these ramps, walls, everything, buildings, everything is a, is a brush. So if you create a brush like a ramp like that, and that's something that the AI is, can go up and down, and once you, when, you, when you create your map, you do a thing called compute pathfinding in the... the the drama had shoes on it, and it basically tells the AI where they can go. You know, it. You know, so the artificial intelligence knows. You know, oh, there's stairs here. There's you know, ramp here. There's you know, there's water here. I don't want to go there. Um, but you can also create brushes and compute the pathfinding, and then remove a brush, and then not recompute the pathfinding. So the AI will still think that there's that there's a ramp there that they can go up. And I had toyed with the idea of having, you know, five or six, a half a dozen of those, you know, invisible ramps. So you'd see AI just, you know, shooting up through the sky for no obvious reason you, you, and thinking like, my God, look at it. You know, so it's almost like, you know, the AI could fly just to basically give them many more paths to move about to get you than you actually have as the player to use yourself. But uh, in the end, I thought that was just, that was just a little bit, you know, that would just made things a little bit too ridiculously difficult. So, anyway, save here. If I get off this ladder without making too much noise. <coughs> and we'll check my inventory. Oh, also, again, too, yeah, you get better ideas. So now you can really see the drama texture up on the walls. So, if you look at the, you know, if you look at the, you know, if you look at it, you can see, you know, there's the ramps and, you know, there's the, the square stuff in the middle and all that thing. So people who use Dramed would, you know, would be able to tell. 
Um, okay, now I'm gonna check my inventory, see what I have. Hopefully, I've got some. Okay, yeah, I got 30 fire arrows. That's a good start. So, now the talismans are all up in those upper areas. I believe there's obviously the water talisman is floating in there, and there's uh, I'm sure there's a fire pit somewhere with a fire talisman. I don't know where the other two are. They're around here somewhere. <laughs> it's been so, so long since I built this. And again, just like the other uh, mission, um, just like the first UT arena, the archers tend to be more dangerous because you know sword guards you can at least run from indefinitely and they can't hit you. But you know the archers will mow you down. So you, know, you tend to want to you tend to want to take out the archers <laughs> first. So I'm going to sneak down <clears throat> over here. Yeah, well, I'm going to lose some fire arrows to get this party started, and I want to try to target some archers if I can. And, of course, I made the floor metal because certainly don't want to give Garrett too many quiet surfaces to walk on. And I'm not really not seeing any archers. They must just be up higher. Okay, well, what the heck. Let's, oh, wait a minute, there's, oh, there's one up there. So let's... Okay. Let's get this party started. You're in for it now. Ah. Oh, boy. Got myself killed. Okay, anyway. <coughs> I wonder who got me. Uh, Didn't really tell him. Okay, well, let's... These poor slobs. Didn't do much for people. Ah, he's up there. Ah. Just make one mistake. Okay. Uh, Start you with plenty of healing potions too. So. Okay, maybe this won't be too bad. Okay, archers up there. Oh, I forgot their haunts too. Gee whiz. Okay, flash bombs. Are you all right? Okay. Take out these haunts. Gotta watch your back here. Oh shit. This is not cool. You don't want to get caught. You're out of the way. There we go. Okay, good. Whew. At least I did give you these dark areas to be able to hide in. So, and as I say, I could start the whole run up to the top here thing, but it's just fun to kill everybody, too. I need backup here. Yeah, I know, you need backup. Yeah. Okay. Come to Papa now. Oh. Ah. Well, you shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, you got all the way out there and you didn't fall. He should have fallen. So he has a long, long way down. Yeah, don't want to fall. Pick up some more healing potions. Okay. I get anybody else in my sights? Don't think you can hide for long. Okay, I cleared him out pretty good now. So I can... It's safe for me to show my face. Let's get some more healing stuff. Oh, I did. Oh, now, okay. I see this guy's running over these ponds. I must have. Oh, let me do that. I must have done the pathfinding trick with the water because the AI are. The AI are walking right over those ponds, so obviously I did the pathfinding trick over the water. Because I probably it was probably because I didn't want you to be able to drown the AI. Now that I think about it, okay, looks like we're gonna have a bunch of them coming down here. So that's good. And 
I hear a zombie voice back there. I, uh, I don't think I had any zombies. I think I probably just reassigned the voice to one of the AIs, so I'm sure one of the guards probably just has a zombie voice. I think there's tree beasts as well, so, you know, you can easily assign, you know, any any character voice to any character. You just go in and change, you know, it's like V, cop, and, or whatever, you know, I think, you know, there'd be a, you know, one of the guards' voices would be like V, cop 1, V, cop 2, or V, sarge, or something like that. And you just change it to V, you know, tree beast, or you know, V, zombie, or whatever, whatever the exact wording is, so, you know, it's just a matter of just changing a few things. Some regular arrows too, so yeah, I definitely gave definitely gave the player plenty of power-ups. So if you want to try to be stealthy like this, you can, you know. I guess it's pretty easy to clear the map out. Then we kind of clean the map up a little bit, you know. So and obviously, if you you know if you don't want to use those areas, you could you know definitely you know give yourself that limitation to say yeah don't go hide in the dark just you know run around and, and be crazy. And there would be more there's more stuff further up. Flash bombs for the for the haunts. Even more power ups. So I think, yeah, I think the coins that you had to find in Sly's UT Arena One are still here because these, uh, the ramps you see going up and down in the corners, those are, I believe, those are the same ramps uh, that were there for the original version of this mission. And so, in this mission, I just carved out some space behind it and put those pits of death to fall into. So okay, and there we go. There's one of the talismans <clears throat> okay an earth talisman and the air ta oh that's right the air talisman's further up and yeah you know, one more coin might as well might as well get all the money I can here okay a couple more arrows <clears throat> drop that guy down on his head Okay, yeah, that was that was easier than I remember it being. You use the darkness and the shadows to your advantage. Now, of course, where might the fire talisman be? Hmm, I don't know. It's like, oh, yeah, there you go, right by the fire. There we go. Again, you know, you got lucky, Tavern. Not really. This is just badass skill here. Uh, that's right, there's another haunt back up there on a tiny little platform and uh, maybe, I don't know. And more stairs, and then you see the air talisman floating in midair. The water talisman is here, so you have to swim down here, and if you swim out of the water, then you'll fall. So you gotta stay in the water. Okay. Water. Now, you keep climbing out. Yep, and now you're gonna have to do some jumps. I think this one you can, yeah, this one's just a standard. Oh, I have jump mantle. There we go, we got that. And now we have to do a little rope arrow action. So, all right. Oh, wait a minute. So, only one. Wait a minute. Now you need more than one rope arrow to do this. Am I? Uh, okay, there we go. I, was like, I knew I had more somewhere. So I think this is a. You can do this one with two, I believe. Quick save again. You want to be really frugal, you can collect your rope arrows. And can I make that? Or maybe, oh, shoot. I think I might have screwed myself because now I can't go back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait a minute. 
with new, can let me see with new mantle can i climb up here nope i'm dead anyway yeah i gotta do this with three rope bears i thought i could do it with two gotta do it with three I don't want to screw around anymore. Let's just leave them there. Huh? Okay. And more speed potions. Oh! Anyway, now you gotta... Ah, I missed it. Yeah. You've got to run across. And you can do this all with one speed potion. So I got nine now, so I'll... I'll let me save here, get ready to go. Now the whole point is you gotta quaff your speed potion, you gotta run across, and you gotta grab the the talisman out of midair, and then you're gonna have to grab the edge, you sort of have to, you know, mantle onto that bit. And you can do this in one fell swoop to get all the way over to the other side. You see where that you see the guard, the archer, all the way over there. You can do this with one speed potion if you do it in one quick in one quick motion, but it really helps to take him out and not to try to have to land on him. So, loose a few arrows. There we go. So now he's gone. Save again. Speed potion. <laughs> ah! Missed it. Okay, let's try again. Speed potion. <laughs> ah, I missed it. Have to go back. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh! <laughs> right over the edge. Okay. So this is the tricky bit. There we go. And now it's just a matter of uh, getting up these stairs. Nothing too difficult. Just be careful and take your time. And I think you could jump mantle to get to that with a speed potion, but I did put a tiny little bit that will accept a rope arrow. It's just a tiny little hole, and I can't even see it. I think it's right in front of me. It's just a tiny little bit, a tiny circular texture that's made out of wood. And you can stick a rope arrow in there. There's a savior in there. Nope. Is that my only rope arrow? Okay, it's my only one, so I'm gonna have to have to reload. Or I can just I can cheat and gamma up here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where is it? There it is. I can see it now. But obviously you can there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's my other thing. Okay, and we jump. And we get the rope. <sighs> and again, you know, careful don't go over the edge. And I think there's one more guard up here. Yep. I don't know why he's doing that. Okay, let me, okay I got a flash bomb. I, I don't know why you lost track of me. He's gone now. I'll turn you up sooner or later. Catch! <laughs> ah! There we go. Oh, no blackjack. Oh, yes, yeah, we'll be really the point of blackjack. Are gonna roll now. And there we go. You got a big target on your chest. And that's we finished it. So. <laughs> That slides UT Arena number two and uh, all that silliness. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.